Hey guys and welcome back to Allotment Newbie. My name's Jenna and we're at my allotment plot in Doncaster. However, currently we are sat in my shed because it's raining. Can you hear it? It's so peaceful, so peaceful today. Um, we're just waiting for the rain to calm down a little bit. Uh, we're not doing a lot of work today because I'm still very poorly as you can probably hear. Um, I'm on antibiotics at the moment, so very, very little energy is going to be used today. So then, guys, just before we dash out, because it is still raining, it's only a little bit, but I don't want to make, make my chest any worse. So I'm going to dash out very quickly in a moment, because I've got, otherwise I've got to wait an hour-ish before it stops. I'm sorry, I'm sucking on a cough sweet to try to stop myself from coughing. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to quickly nip out, because there's... Um, something i want to harvest and it's my first ever so let's go have a look Ooh, let's go hmm. rain rain go away come back another day <laughs> so there's a couple of firsts actually today um but i'm just going to take you down to the first thing that we're going to get sorted today Let's have a look. So if I can get you in as close as I can. Our first cause yet. Yay. <laughs> Looks like there isn't one growing just through there. And we'll just wait for this one to get pollinated when the flower opens. So we might have a couple. Um, so yeah, let's get that bad boy harvested. Hey gang, so just been sat for the last 10 minutes waiting for the rain to finally bugger off. Um, it's just about to stop, stop now, but I wanted to show you my, can't, can't even see my eyes, uh, my courgette real quick. Um, I've never successfully grown courgette because last year, um, when I only had that small growing space, um, only one plant came up, which ironically, is it ironically? Have I used that right? Uh, only one came up this year, but something or someone actually chopped it down like a little tree. Um, so I never actually got a cause yet off of it. I was absolutely heartbroken last year. All right, Gobby. Um, <laughs> so this is officially my first cause yet. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a try. If I uh, remember, I'm sure I told you what it was called. It's called Banana Song, this one's called. Um, I'm gonna put it back in my little harvesting bucket. <laughs> so yeah. That's my first ever cause yet. I'm going to give it a try this week. Um, I'm going to do it with some roast vegetables and stuff. So that sounds really nice. Um, my dad will be a bit gutted because he likes cause yet. So, but he's going to get the next one. Well, the next few, if there's a few that grow, hopefully, fingers crossed. So we're just waiting for my dad to get here now. Uh, the rain has just about stopped. I'm going to prepare the next area I want you guys to see because I am so excited. You've no idea. I mean... You somehow excited I was with the parsnip. Well, this is just crazy because I never thought in a billion years I would get one of these and I've actually got two. So let's go and have a look, shall we? Hey gang, so this is the second first thing that I'm going to show you. So you've seen the courgette. That's the first ever courgette I've grown. Other week you saw my very first parsnip that I'd grown and I was absolutely buzzing. So this... I would never thought in a million years, as I mentioned earlier, that I would grow because I've never been successful. Granted, they were all tried growing them at home, but anyway. So, Pops, if you wouldn't mind showing the gang what we're looking at. Look at that. Isn't he a beautiful, beautiful cauliflower? Absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna pull it up, because um, as you may or may not know, Cauliflowers don't grow back when you chop them up, chop the head out like broccoli sometimes do, etc. So you're gonna have the fun of me uh, watching me try and pull the whole thing out. I'm not gonna chop it off. I'm gonna pull the whole plant out of the ground. Let's go. <laughs> you ready, pops? Yep. Oh my gosh, this plant's bigger than I thought it was. Oh, this will be hilarious. <sighs> ah! I've lost it. Get a grip. Bit. I know, I'm trying to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's 
not wanting to come up at all. Come on, you little beauty. <laughs> that is an absolute no. <laughs> I've just tried. The roots are unreal down there. So I'm going to chop it off and I'll show you the final product. So I hope you enjoyed me struggle to try and pull out that cauliflower. <laughs> I did actually pull it out in the end um, and you've seen the picture of the final thing. So really, really proud of what I've grown there. Um, so as you know, tomato wise, um, our yellow tomatoes, we've been able to get one or two off each week. However, this week, have a look at this. Finally, a bumper crop of the yellow tomatoes. There's a couple hiding down there some up there as well some down here well that's amazing there's just so many it's it's crazy but let me just tell you these people that grow tomato plants up string and you know make them grow tall i love to watch these just grow really wild and i'll show you why so if you come around to the cherry tomato ones that i planted bearing in mind this is only three plants there was one there one there one there and then you've got the yellow tomatoes over there but I'm going to show you something I've never grown tomatoes like this and look at this sorry let me just get right down here look at the amount of tomatoes there's just on that one branch there's loads of branches like this tomatoes are just everywhere and this is just by letting them grow natural and free free range tomatoes we'll call them more down here and if you remember I told you the plant went through the wall look at that how amazing is that and that's what happens when you've got free range tomatoes <laughs> right then dudes so another thing we're going to harvest today is the chard that I've been growing for my dad so we've had a quick look to see how we're supposed to harvest this so we're going to oh there's Oliver so we're going to um, mm -hmm. chop, some, <laughs> chop some of the leaves off and leave the heart so it continues to grow. Um, we're not going to pull the whole thing up because we want to see, keep it going and see how it goes. We don't know what it tastes like, so we might want more. You never know. I so a blunt knife. <laughs> so let's get going. Hey dudes, right, so we're just going to chop a couple of these off. We have noticed that odd one has flowered or tried to, but it was under the netting over there. Um, so we're going to take a couple of pieces each to try it at home. And we'll let you know what we think. So I'm going to get a couple of these red ones. Because it's an absolutely gorgeous colour. Look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. I weren't talking to you, Dad. Me? <laughs> yeah. I was talking to those that are watching. <laughs> so I am. A couple of the old red ones. There we go. Get another one. So we've got four pieces. Don't know where to put them. Uh, can't see what I'm doing. There we go, look at that. Yeah, they're beauties. Gorgeous colour, isn't it? Right, so we've got some red. Um, I'll cut the rest in a moment, so we'll show you what we get when we're finished. See you in a bit. Right, so this is the hole we got. Got some white, yellow, and as you know, we got some red at the beginning. So not too bad, really, for a first time grow. You have to let everyone know what you think, Dad. I will. <laughs> Right then gang, it's not been a very um, hard working video today, uh, but like I say, I'm, I'm a poor little sausage today. So there's just a couple of things I want to show you before we go. Um, so you remember my pumpkin plant? Well, originally when I decided to grow it for the first time ever this year, um, I sowed three separate seeds in little, you know, in little um, doodars and only one came up, I think. That might have been a good thing, here's why. <laughs> Look at the size of my pumpkin plant. It's absolutely ginormous. It's even going now into these flowers, which I wanted to show you. They were the bulbs that we planted in May, I think, end of April, beginning of May. Um, but look how far it's grown. It's just massive. I'm so glad only one decided to grow. And we've actually got several pumpkins growing now. Well, 
There we go. The original one is orange. We're going to take that one out just because it's our first one. Uh, we want to have a look. One there growing as well. Oh, try not to fall over. One there too. I think there's a couple more, you know, beyond. <laughs> but yeah, it's impressive, isn't it? Right, so uh, I've just very quickly showed you my pumpkin plant and how big it is. And this is our first pumpkin. <laughs> how cute is that? And don't shout at me. I know pumpkins grow big, but I did actually, I am growing the smaller ones. I forgot the name of it. I will have a look. This might not even be anywhere near ready for us, but it's orange. It's a pumpkin and I have grown it. <laughs> there are others growing as I showed you. So we will be leaving those ones alone. Um, you know, I'm just impatient as any grower is. They want to see what they've grown and how well it's doing. Anywho, just a quick reminder then before we go what we've actually harvested. So we've had the pumpkin, the cauliflower, tomatoes, peas, chard, radish. What else? Have I missed out, Dad? Oh, broccoli. Broccoli. We actually got some broccoli. Some shoots were coming mm. off. Um, so we got those cut off as well. So we've got those for our dinner. Um, Jim next door has given me some runner beans. So I'm having them for my dinner as well. So we're going to have a really nice dinner with all the vegetables today. So anyway, to say this is going to be a really short uh, video because I'm not very well. Um, it, we've got more done than I thought. Granted, it's not work work. It's just watering and, and, and harvesting. Uh, I don't think we've done too bad. Oh, and we also got the rest of our spring onions out, the bigger ones. So uh, I'm going to get off because I feel like I'm going to collapse and die at any moment. Um, but it's been great having you here as always. And I uh, hope to see you here next week. And I hope you have a great growing week. So from me, Allotment Newbie, I say goodbye. TTFN.